they're actually quite a unique species because they've sort of filled the ecological niche that rabbits have elsewhere on the planet. So they're about the same size as a rabbit and they live in small family groups and they dig burrows and live in tunnels. So they help to sort of aerate the soil. Um, they're also very important for like seed dispersal around the forest. Um, they're also quite unique in the fact that they're monogamous, so a pair will stay together for life until one of them dies and they'll raise their young together. They can weigh up to about 1.5 kilos, maybe. In the wild, probably a little bit less, maybe 1.2. Um, but obviously, here at the zoo, they get, they get fed a, a good diet, so they are usually around 1.2 to 1.5 kilos. They're actually only found in a very small area of Madagascar. It's about 200 kilometers squared. Um, and they face a lot of threats from habitat loss, um, habitat destruction, yeah, like logging, um, all those kind of things really affects where they live. So they are, they are struggling. I guess we're just trying to create that positive experience for um, children and animals that they may have previously had negative connotations about. So the animals that we see around the zoo, they're obviously quite exotic, quite majestic, um, and we want to inspire them to appreciate all animals, not just the, the really cool ones. We've <laughs> done lots of work in getting them kind of used to being with us and um, kind of eating from our hands, which is probably why you've noticed them quite often. <laughs> They're really intelligent, they love learning, and they're really well adapted to live across most continents around the world. <laughs> 